Imagine having you here. Guess what? We've got a little product here. We've been using them really happy with it. Um, it's sold at Lowe's for sure, but it's made by Utilitech. U-T-I-L-I-T-E-C-H. And it's a downlight with uh, choices of 2700 to 6500 lumens. And that is adjustable right here. Little switch. four positions. Now one of the things I like about this is all the different choices you have. You can put this to a replacement for the, the old incandescent bulb connection. You can disconnect it here. And then they give you one to replace it. And then you have wire, push in wire like wire nuts. You just push pull in, has two more spaces on the neutral and two more spaces on the on the hot or line side. So that's kind of cool. Normally you would just be here and I would just cut that off, but that's a little th pretty thoughtful for what they did there. Now, after that, they called it a three in one because you can put it in with that. Or you can use one of their brackets on a hole that's what we've been using. This bracket has two screw holes here and they give you some little screws. I mean they are small. And that holds the bracket. You know on the bracket you got a 50 50 chance of doing it wrong. So the wrong way is with that metal down. You want to do it this way so it's rounded. And this way the clips on the side here will snap right into that. It does really well. The uh, third choice you have is you put this in a hole and then you put the, it actually has a place for the ground which is okay. Um, that allows you to connect and make a junction box in here if you have the room. I don't have the room and I'm in an area about that big. So this would never fit in here. So, But that's pretty cool, all these choices. I guess a third one would be, and I say third, is these little clips here. So now you would make the hole this size here, and then you put these little clips in. See the slot right there? That sticks in there, and then there's a hole right there. Again, these little screws screw into that. And then you have these clips all the way around. That allows you to clip into a hole that you've made, and they give you a size that you need. So all you do is put the screws in there and snap it in. The neat thing about this is the choices also and the, how small it is. You can put this underneath a cabinet. If you'd be a little creative, you probably have to put a, a little bit of a room on the bottom of this so that, you know, what you could do is uh, build up the sides. That way you have room to put your wire in. Just a thought. Uh, what we have done is Cut in a hole here, and it's a very, very small room. We put the, those clips in, and now all we got to do is plug up that after we put the metal clip. Now the metal clip, like I said again, ends up going like right there. And you put the screws in these holes right here and here, and then you just plug it up and snap it in. The finished product looks like right here. In a minute, when we get it all wired up, we'll show you what they look like. I think you'll be pleased. What tools? Is all you need? What's that? Is that all you need for tools? Well, the tools, you could use all a razor knife, a tape measure, and a hand screwdriver, but we've got lineman pliers, wire nuts, 
a pencil, tape measure, and a screw gun. You can do it with a just a razor knife and a hand, a Phillips screwdriver, and you can put all this together. So it's pretty cool. Uh, remember, your white is your neutral, and your black is your hot. It's pretty simple after that. Hope you guys got a kick out of it like I did. You should try it out. See ya.